This information will be automatically imported or put into the RTP portfolio and you will get a message like, hey. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. How long will my trademark last? So we talk about how you can get a trademark, what the process is. The question is, how long will my trademark last? So let's say you follow the process of getting a trademark. So let's say we have here the process of getting a trademark and you follow that process and you got a trademark. So this is your trademark, right? The question is how long, for how long? 10 years. Well, thing is, you're asking yourself, where can I find the answer? Yeah. You can find the answer on the website. So this is Trademark Netherlands. Yeah. For the Benelux, you can find the trademark on the website by looking for frequent ask question. I think they have it here, but I don't like to look on things on the website because most of the time it's not, they can make a mistake in there. So I'm going to show you where you can find it in the document. Like last time I show you that when you go here, and you want to know the rules that Benelix has to follow you press this you can download the pdf and in the pdf you will find all the rules about the intellectual property for the lands belgium netherlands and luxembourg so we're gonna go to that and then i'm gonna show you where you can find the rules and what does it say so if you go to docs you can see here we talk about it in the past videos, but you can see this is a document. Talk about some things here. If you are looking for how long the um, the trademark lasts, you can press find and find renewal. Yeah, so renewal, filing re registration and renewal. So filing, this is the whole process that we discussed. Just discuss it in here. You see the rules. If you go down, I think 2.9, yeah. So if you go down, you see here, registration of a trademark shall be for a period of 10 years, right? So I'm not lying to you guys. So here you can find yourself with effect from the date of filing. So when you file it from that day, if you get a trademark, you have, um, I call it you have a trademark for 10 years and what happened after that after that six months so if you can see here let me highlight it for you guys six months prior to the expiry of the registration the office what I mean by the office is the Benelux intellectual property office will send the reminder to the um, trademark holder so if you are a register a trademark holder you will get a reminder that you can renew the trademark most of the time how does it work in the practice most of the time you have let's say you have a person here or company let's call it x it can be a person or a company and they hire an agent and an agent is keeping an eye on the ip portfolio that's how we call it and what does it mean an IP portfolio has a list of all the IP of X. It can be trademark, it can be copyright and all the stuff. And in the IP portfolio, you will find how old the trademark is, how old the copyright is. And you can find also the proof of the, of the intellectual property because when something goes wrong and you can pinpoint the intellectual property, it's easy to write a letter. Most companies out there, they don't have an IP portfolio. They don't even know what it is. When you don't have an IP portfolio, it doesn't mean you don't have, an, um, let's say, intellectual property. It doesn't mean. No. IP portfolio just gives you an um, overview of the intellectual property that you have. And in IP portfolio, you will see, for example, trademark of X and the date when X will expire. Okay. and when it needs to be renewed and the proof 
so you can see it it can be like an excel sheet or it can be a database it doesn't matter it depends what kind of company you are and how big of a portfolio you have so how many intellectual property you have most time it's a list it can also be in a database most company put it in a database so they can keep tra track of everything and there are software out there the company use and if you are just starting out it's better for you to create a ep port um, ip portfolio at the beginning because it can help you a lot so this information will be automatically imported or put into the ip portfolio and you will get a message like hey your intellectual property is going to expire yeah and most companies don't think about that they just think about okay let me register and that's it or put it in a contract or give license that's it yeah and even license you can put in the ip portfolio so yeah all those things you put in the ip portfolio so if you look at the question of today is how long will my trademark last 10 years where can you find the rules look for article 2.9 download the document that i showed you and look for term renewal or registration and then you will find it yourself and you can read it and these things are all the rules about the process and everything you can read it whatever yeah so yeah let me change it to hopefully i'm not going to press something stupid yeah so yeah so i show you guys how it works how long it lasts 10 years if you guys have a question about this just go on the discord press the last center go on the discord and you can ask me directly if you have one legal advice and you have some problem with intellectual property and you want some advice about that and you don't have enough uh, money or you don't have a budget for that you can join our legal session it's on the discord and during the legal session you can ask your question i will try to answer it as soon as possible and if you like this um, if you like this uh, content and uh, you want to support us buy me some coffee seriously buy me some coffee i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie scene will be